Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back for more punishment. Welcome back, guys. So this was the first video. This was a Patreon exclusive asking the question, who really is J.D. Vance and what does he really represent? Where's his ties, uh, business investments, etc.? Again, uh, Patreon exclusives multiple times a week as we want to get back to those that have been supporting us. Now, this is something multiple people have men mentioned and they were like, well, can you... Uh, remote view JFK Jr. because so many people believe JFK Jr. is alive and coincidentally today is the day that he died in that well they say he died in a plane crash 25 years ago and so it, it's very interesting again JFK Jr. was regarded as American royalty uh, this is from Yahoo News he was the son of the 35th president of the United States and in the wake of his father's assassination he grew to be a symbol of hope the heir apparent to a Camelot that was cut short 25 years ago a plane piloted by the 38 year old attorney and George magazine founder crashed into the Atlantic Ocean killing him as well as his wife Carolyn Bissett Kennedy and his sister-in-law Lauren Bissett July 16th marks the grim anniversary of their deaths, but that day was only the beginning of a period of shock and tra tragedy and uncertainty. Here we look back at the events that surround the tragedy. So July 15th, 1999, he made plans to attend the wedding of his cousin Rory Kennedy in Hyannisport, Massachusetts on the 17th. However, according to several sources at the time, his wife was upset and didn't want to accompany him. In The Kennedy Curse, author Edward Klein claimed that was that the reason why, on Thursday, July 15th, Bissette Kennedy's sister offered to join the couple on the upcoming trip, at least as far as Mar Martha's Vineyard, where she intended to spend the weekend with friends. On the 16th, Rosemary Terenzio, the chief of staff for George, as well as JFK Jr.'s personal assistant, and publicist recalled that Bassett Kennedy's reluctance to attend the wedding continued on the day of the flight. In her 2012 book, Fairy Tale Interrupted, a memoir of life, uh, love, and loss, Terenzio explained that the 33-year-old, mm. wait a minute, hey, uh, 33, mm, 33rd degree Masons, uh, Jesus, they say, 33 arbitrarily, you know, is when he was crucified, even though multiple sources and us as well uh, got that he wasn't crucified and lived past that age. But it's, it's, again, symbolic and it has meaning. So anyway, the 33-year-old who had been married to Kennedy for nearly three years at that point had been feeling neglected by her husband. Uh, I'm not a priority. Terenzio remembered Bissette Kennedy telling her it's always something else. George, somebody getting fired, an event, trip to Italy to meet advertisers. Yeah, it's a rough life. Yeah, and she's the one that finally convinced uh, Bissette Kennedy to go anyway. And so it goes on. In the early hours of Saturday morning, CNN reported that Kennedy's family contacted the Coast Guard report his plane never arrived. Search and rescue efforts began before daylight, but by day's end, hope was fading. Debris from the flight was found about 200 yards off the coast of Martha's Vineyard, along with Lauren Bissett's suitcase. There's always hope, uh, they said, but unfortunately, when you find certain pieces of evidence, you have to be, pre be prepared for anything, and the wedding was postponed. On Sunday, the search efforts moved from rescue to recovery, and President Bill Clinton addressed the nation. And then um, they, they did find the plane's fuselage on the 20th at a depth of about 100 feet. And then search efforts ended on Wednesday, July 21st, as Navy divers say they recovered the bodies of JFK Jr., Bassett Kennedy and Bassett from the shattered fuselage. Autopsies were conducted, revealing all three died on impact, and none of them um, were using any substances as well. 
So on Thursday, the Kennedy and Bissett families gathered aboard the Navy destroyer USS Briscoe for a burial at sea near the recovery site. And a mass was held on the 23rd, um, you know, so the end of that Camelot. Now, so many people hold out hope that he's going to come out of, you know, the woodwork some, at some point in time and set everything straight. You know, here you have uh, them saying, hey, RFK, if touch your nose if JFK Jr. is alive. And, of course, he ends up touching his nose. Uh, and then here we have JFK Jr.'s nephew, Jack Kennedy, on Instagram. Big things coming. Stay tuned. Very big. One, if not the biggest story, you'll be sorry. Oh, justice will be served and the battle will rage. This big dog will fight when you rattle his cage and you'll be sorry that you mess with the U.S. of A., etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, yeah, we did uh, go ahead and have Cindy look because one one thing she can see is um when people have passed on there's there's an energetic change um and she could often get the surroundings usually get the surroundings of that person uh, most of the time when people pass on uh they go to a realm in which they create their own reality and it's typically comfortable uh it's it's familiar and it's a place where they can reflect on the past life and process. Uh, now, if they're still alive, you're going to get a very, very different feel of things. It's going to feel very different than being on that 4D astral plane. Uh, or very, very different from you know going back up to, say, a 5D uh, reality where we're not even really exactly the same person. We're really a much bigger version of the 3d 4d so i will hand it off to cindy and she can explain what she sees when she looks into jfk jr mm -hmm. well you know this is the information that i get and again it's just information that i get and i, I don't i'm not understanding this but the guides are telling me to look look closely at his magazine that there's a lot of answers in this magazine that he created okay. and um the other thing they're telling me is uh giving me the magazine as a as an example uh look at the face value of everything and you see the death on the news and everything but when you open up the etherical magazine that they're giving me an example of his story continues on in the 3d so um i i don't know i mean we haven't had time to look at the information i just got about the magazine that just just came up <laughs> they do that they do that um but it, it's something we'll look into more however i see him living a very simple simple life he actually appreciates it more than he did when he was living a life where all eyes were on him very necessary for him to discontinue his journey um, as a really big icon uh, that is to be seen he was very much a threat to the system in the sense where he was going to up he was going to upset a timeline there was a timeline upset and he had to be tucked away he had to be put away um and just held and kept and you know it very well could be that he's going to show up but i don't think he's going to show up as you see here i do believe it's going to be in a different way maybe a different person maybe he's working behind the scenes a, a different, persona. <laughs> different persona um but i do not get that he actually died i get that he's living a very simple life he enjoys this simple life so he's he's actually not one that's gunning to get out there either he doesn't want to get out there and, and deal with the chaos um, because he's got had a taste of both and he prefers the quieter simple way so right now as of right now that's all the information I got so we'll 
just uh, we'll see if anything ever comes up with this magazine that the guides just gave me. I don't know, but there's they say the guides say there's a lot of information in that magazine. Well, could it be this cover which talks about the next American Revolution, perhaps ah. with him right there? <laughs> it very well could be. You know, there's a lot. <clears throat> there's a lot to say with with this magazine. There's a lot to say with the photograph. There's a lot to say. You know, with with the makeup, with with this person, um, a start of a new revolution. I think is what they're alluding to. And yeah, I mean, this could be the magazine that they're that they're talking about. Um, it, it's really fuzzy to me if if he's going to step back out into the public as himself or as someone else i think that's deliberate because keep in mind we're dealing with people that do know how to put psychic shields up around information and they do that because they know that psychics and remote viewing is a very real thing and obviously we saw a huge shining example of that just the other day with future forecasters so I mean, that just proves even more so that uh, things are shielded and things are presented in a way very different than what we've been taught. When you, uh, you, say, you say he's living a very simple life, can you sense the climate? Um, can you sense where he is at? I mean, does he feel like he's you know in the deep w cold woods somewhere north does he feel in a tropical paradise can you sense the energy around where he is mm -hmm. the energy around where he is is very stable the the weather is very stable usually it's a little bit windy mostly sunny i do see an ocean a beach and a house with white pillars it's not a big house either it's just a little humble little house is what I see. I mean, it might be looking at part of his garage, but that's what I see. So, White pillars? Are they Greco-Romans? Uh-uh. No, they're just like square pillars that probably are right by the entranceway. So I might just be seeing part of that house, and it's very simple, like you would see in, in any other small neighborhood. So nothing is fancy. Is uh, don't see her there always. I don't see her there always. It, it's almost like she has tucked in is living her own simple life elsewhere. So uh, they are very careful with um, having them go places, do things. But these these people here, they appreciate the simple life. So it's not hard to keep them hidden. They're more than willing to stay to stay down so they don't have to deal with chaos. So perhaps somewhere in the Caribbean, Mediterranean, or, you know, Southeast Florida. Asia, even Florida is what you're picking up? Yeah. Well, yeah, because the weather is so stable. Just a little bit of wind, and it's usually always perfect. So. Mm, could be. So he was hidden. Now, you had said to me previously that there were certain big names um, that knew he was uh, dangerous to the timeline. And at the same time, they know they're running out of time in the bigger scheme of things, but he was perhaps a danger to um, break up the power grid before it's time. Well, they don't want that. They need, they need things to go along a, a, a certain timeline. So the, the bigger names that found him to be a problem were Rockefellers, Rothschilds. It was all... Uh, revolving around money of course everything does you know but this would have shifted them into a position of weakness they don't want that so yes he was tucked away for safekeeping for a time when things would be different so I mean I, I see things as getting better overall but that doesn't take me away from the fact that this is still all an illusion and i need to find my own happy place and not depend on the system because i, I still believe that they're going to crash it really hard and then build it up with the ai so to be clear like when we talk about the energy of jfk jr you feel that he is truly um working or would be working on the side of light as opposed to the control grid. I do feel his, his energy is more of the light. He's 
I mean, I don't get an egoic feeling off of him. I get a very simple kind of life from him and an appreciation for that simple life. And the idea that he wants to help other people have a nice, simple life and, and live. So there's been like a spirituality development as well for him to spend. He spent a lot of time alone, a lot of time alone. And when people do that, like in prison, you you learn things. You learn things and you have understanding of, of how life flows and you get an appreciation for the simpler things in life. And I, I think he wants to eventually give that gift to others in some way, shape or form. Might not be the way we think, but we always have to keep that in mind. It's like when you see something coming, it, it might not happen the way you think. So we just do our best to describe. Does does the control system know where he is or is he kept hidden from the control system? He's pretty hidden. He's pretty tucked away. It's not like his uh, it's not like his moves are followed. Um, he's just really tucked away that's the best I can see and I can tell you there is even more of a shroud even more of a veil around that question because when I go to look it's like boom I get this big brick wall and I'm not seeing any answers to that question it's like this is all I get is that he is living a simple life he has made a lot of I get more information when it comes to his uh, personal journey than I get to like what he's doing like right now and what he's going to be doing tomorrow that's so off limits and you know the energy if we compare the VP pick JD Vance with RFK Jr's energy uh, how would you contrast those night and day night and day I mean <sighs> The, the VP pick, I mean, it is very sinister. It, there's some horrible, evil, god-awful plan behind it. I know that a lot of people are excited. A lot of people are, are upset. It, it, you know, people are going to be what they're going to be. But this pick has very long, as a long-term consequence to it. And I guess that's to be seen. But the energy that I get from VP is not a good one. I don't like it. He's dabbling in things that are ritualistic and, 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 and you know, technologies that I, I think are absolutely horrible and really shouldn't be put into practice. Not in, not in this world, not in this planet, not for, for humans, n not for earthlings. The technology that he is dabbling in is more for the reptilian side of things. Okay, so we'll leave it at that and uh, look forward to your comments as always. Again, thanks for your support. Over on Ko-Fi, this guy is, is keeping score and this guy is making sure nothing gets past him. He's my favorite. <laughs> nice save. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.